Unraveling the meaning of gathering wool. Hello everyone, welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating English idiom, gathering wool. This phrase might sound a bit peculiar at first, but it's a wonderful example of the richness and creativity in the English language. Let's start with the origins of gathering wool. This idiom dates back to times when wool gathering was a common activity. It involved collecting the loose tufts of wool caught on bushes and fences as sheep passed by. However, because this task didn't require much focus, people often drifted into their thoughts while doing it. Hence, gathering wool came to metaphorically mean being lost in one's thoughts or daydreaming. In modern English, when someone says they are gathering wool, they usually mean they are engrossed in their thoughts and not paying attention to the present moment. It's often used in a light-hearted, slightly humorous way. For example, sorry, I missed what you said. I was gathering wool. To better understand this idiom, let's see it in action. 1. During meetings, sometimes I find myself gathering wool, thinking about my weekend plans. 2. My teacher noticed I was gathering wool and asked me to pay more attention. Notice how in both examples, gathering wool is used to describe being mentally absent or daydreaming. It's also interesting to compare gathering wool with similar idioms in English. Phrases like lost in thought in a world of one's own or having your head in the clouds conveys similar meanings. Each of these idioms paints a vivid picture of someone not fully present in the current situation. And that's a wrap on Gathering Wool. I hope this video has given you a clearer understanding of this charming English idiom. Remember, language learning is not just about rules and grammar. It's also about these colorful expressions that make communication more engaging. See you in the next video, and happy learning!